हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 5.2 फॉर द प्रीवियस एक्सरसाइज प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर सो हियर द फर्स्ट वन स्टेट व्हेदर द फॉलोइंग सेट्स आर एम्प्टी फाइनाइट और इनफाइनाइट सेट्स ओके इन केस ऑफ नॉन एम्प्टी फाइनाइट सेट्स mention the cardinal number cardinal number means number of element in that set so first one here all colors of a rainbow now all of you know that there are total seven colors in a rainbow okay that means this one is a finite set so you can write down this one as finite and here the number of uh, elements is seven so here the cardinal number equal to seven if the set represent as a so you can write down in a that is 7 okay the cardinal number here is 7 next one x is a prime number between 7 and 11 so now as here 7 and 11 in between you have 8 9 10 okay but 8 9 10 all are composite number that means in between 7 and 11 there are no prime number so that means it's a empty set okay it's a empty set third one x is a digit in the numeral 5501313157 so definitely it is a finite set and here the digits are as 5 then 0 then 1 then 3 then 2 and 7 okay if this one is a set that is the answer of third one so in set remember that no number will be repeated so write down 5 one times then 0 1 3 2 7 7 that means it's also a finite set okay and here in a that means cardinal number equal to 6 now for the fourth one x is a letter in the word sufficient clear so here x is the letter so that means if, if this one is a set a so s u f i c e n and last one is t okay so this is also a finite set and in that case here n a that means the cardinal number here the cardinal number is 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 okay now let's move on to next problem now next sum number 5 in sum number 5 x is a vowel in the word mathematics so here the vowels are a then here e after that i okay so there are total three vowels that means here cardinal number will be 3 and it's definitely a finite set now sum number 6 x is an even whole number x less than equal to 20 so here x less than equal to 20 even whole number so 0 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 18 18 okay less than equal to so you have to write down 20 also that's here less than equal to sign so how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay total 11th number are there so that means here the cardinal number is 11 and it's definitely a finite set now next sum number 7 sum number 7 x belongs to i i means here integer and minus 2 less than equal to x less than 5 remember that less than 5 So the first number will be minus two, minus one, zero. Then one, two, three, four. Okay. Last one will be four. As here only less than five, not equal to is there. So the last number will be four. So how many numbers are there? Here in a equal to seven, and it is a finite set. Now next one, sum number eight. Sum number eight x is a prime number less than twenty-seven. okay x is a prime number less than 27 it's definitely a finite set so write down the prime number here 2 3 5 7 11 
after that 13 then 17 then 19 and last one 23 so here the cardinal number that equal to 9 and it's definitely a finite set now sum number 9 sum number 9 you have x is a prime factor of 180 okay x is a prime factor of 180 so here if you factorize 180 you will get you will get the prime factor so if you factorize 180 then you have here 90 this one here 45 then 5 nines are and then 3 3 so here the prime factors are 2 5 and 3 so that means here cardinal number na equal to 3 and it's definitely a infinite set now the last one and here the last one is sum number 10 in sum number 10 you have here x belongs to n and x is a composite number less than 12 so x is a composite number less than 12 so here the numbers are 4 6 8 9 and 10 so how many numbers are there they are total 1 2 3 4 5 so that means it also a finite set and here the cardinal number is 5 now sum number 2 state whether the following pairs of set are equal or not here the first one for first one it will be here a equal to 2 4 6 8 10 and b equal to even natural numbers okay even natural number means infinite number of natural numbers are there that means even natural numbers are there so definitely a not equal to b now next one 3 5 7 9 11 and 13 b is odd natural number between 2 and 14 so the odd natural number between 2 and 14 that is 3 5 7 9 11 and 13 so these are the elements in between 2 and 14 and which is exactly equal to set a so you can write down here a equal to b now the third one third one here a equal to p u p p e t puppet and here b equal to p u e t so you know that in set the elements are not repeated so in that case also a and b are same because the element of a and b are exactly equal now next number four in number four x is a letter of the word sophia so write down the letters s o p h then i and then a and next x is the letter of the word mumtaz so m u then t no repetition in the set here a and the last one is z now here a definitely not equal to b it's very easy now the last one number five a equal to kids five meters tall and b equal to x belongs to n where 2x equal to 3 okay so as here kids 5 meter tall okay that means it's a empty set okay a is a empty set because it's not possible a kid we who one is 5 meter tall okay and as the next one here 2x equal to 3 that means x equal to 3 by 2 but here said that x belongs to natural number but 2 by 3 is not a natural number it's a fraction okay it's a rational number not a natural number so that means here in set b it also a empty set so in that reason you can set that a equal to b because both are empty set now the last one sum number three so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here in three given that a equal to this one b equal to this one and a equal to b clear that means here each and every element each and every element of a which is equal to set b so rearrange the element first one two then five then seven after that here x and here 10 so it's very easy to find out which one is equal that means here 8 is equal to with x so you can write down here the value of x equal to 8